everyone. Welcome back to Studio Lou. Today I bring you the first in a series of two of my Poison Garden journals. They are inspired by Alnwick Gardens. Um, in 1995, Jane Percy became the Duchess of Northumberland, a county in northeastern England that stretches to the border with Scotland after her husband's brother died unexpectedly. Um, with the title came the Alnwick Castle, the traditional seat of the Duke of Northumberland. It also served as a setting for Hogwarts in the first two Harry Potter films. After the family took up residence in the castle, Percy's husband had asked her to do something with the gardens, which at the time were just disused commercial forestry land with a bunch of Christmas trees planted in endless rows. Um, she kind of laughed about it and thought, oh, this will be something that will keep her quiet. You know, this is how she was thinking, her husband was thinking. But then she really took it on as a project. And in 1996, she hired Jacques Wirtz. He's a landscape architect who worked at um, in Paris. He's worked in the gardens of the French president's residency to help her reimagine Elmwood Garden. So they definitely did that. She was inspired by the original Poison Garden, which is the Medici poison garden and um, now this garden is incredible it is 14 acres and it attracts about 600,000 people each year to come to look at it so um, she really took it and ran with it so pretty cool so um on that note, let's get started taking a look at The Poison Trail. This is a vintage book that I found um, on a thrift haul. And um, yeah, I just thought, what a great setting for a Poison Garden journal. <laughs> this book is great. So I did distress the front and I added some um, poison plants. This is the Coyoteo plant. And um, I left the spine alone. This is by William Booz, this book. And on the back, I added the inky cat. So one theme that you'll notice throughout this journal is that I have used these kind of typewritten looking labels. Um, it's kind of like an ode to an old job that I once had as an assistant curator, like how we labeled things. And also I think it really kind of speaks to just the scientific um, way that botany is done and those sort of things. So this journal is um, an eyelet closure tied with vintage seam binding. Um, this is what the top looks like. Um, it has seven signatures. The spine has been reinforced with a fabric spine. So let's open it up and take a look. So I'm just going to stand it up for a moment and just slip the ribbons back here so that they're not in our way. Okay, make sure that I am on center so you can see this book. So um, inside the front cover, the end page that I used here is a botanical image of hellbore. You will see a lot of vintage plant images here from various things. Many, many of them are from vintage books that I have. I have a lot. I have actually a huge collection of vintage botanical books. Um, some are printed from public domain images or digital kits that I've purchased. Um, so on this side, we have a bleeding heart pocket, and it's got this nice lace here that I think really, it looks very similar to bleeding heart. And then inside is um, a journal card that I made with some resin, little blue flowers inside, and some coffee dyed tape and some little stickers. And so that is just a journal card. It's behind acetate. It's all so sewn and sealed inside there so the plant can't escape. And then just some nice um, journaling space. And here we have a little fold out of the Indian turnip and all the information there. And on this side, um, the picture of the poppy. Then this page is a digital um, that I created from a scanned um, vintage textile. This has been stenciled. And then here we have the Christmas rose. And this is from a flower press book. So you could actually press your flowers and you could um, put them here if you wanted to. You could glue them down with the name, the date, and the place where you found them. This is coffee dyed doily paper. Uh, this page has been sort of collage. It has this beautiful insect um, pointillist image up top and then some of my own botanical eco printed watercolor paper at the bottom. And the center of the first signature is a book page, and it's a little poem by Walter de la Mer about autumn. This is another of my digitals that I'm working on for a kit. Um, this is more coffee dyed lace paper. 
more of the flower press book and this is about Heather and um, this is just some stenciling on this side we have a pocket made from an image of the peyote cactus it's on top of one of my digital scanned pictures um, and then this is a journal card that I made it is gold and it has this nice label um, this label is from the paper cameo on Etsy she makes beautiful um, beautiful digitals and then this is a resin flower again behind acetate all stitched and has cabbage dyed paper on the back this is about the prickly poppy and it's a fold out. And then this is the buttercup. Um, and then here we have um, just an image of um, a floral and it has um, this little label that I made that says summer warmth and it's actually a flip out. So there's more journaling space there and that's marbled avocado dyed paper on back. More journaling space. And here we have a pocket with the castor bean and inside is a journal card of poison hemlock and on this side we have sort of a bit of collaging a book page with a poppy and some coffee dyed grungy fun paper on top and then this little leafy tab and then some more collaging over on this side this is actually some lab um, record keeping paper and then this is both a digital pocket and background and inside is a little um, card of the rhododendron as well as a vintage photo from um, October of 1959 and this is of some plants um, that are sitting in a window cactuses and other plants and that's an original piece of ephemera and then this is some stenciling this is some indigo dyed paper on this side we have um, an upper tuck pocket made from um, a mushroom card, uh, the brown centered Hebeloma or Hebeloma mesophaeum. And then inside is this beautiful um, pansy on a black background. This has avocado dyed paper on the back. And then some coffee dyed paper and some botanical, more journaling space. This is cabbage dyed log paper. And then just some coffee dyed paper. This is the blueprint of a boat. Um, and then this is a pocket made from an image of the henbane. And it is on vintage um, avocado dyed large print encyclopedia. And it has a card of Lily of the Valley inside. This is avocado dyed paper. This is um, a hyacinth journal card that's just been paper clipped on and it has marbled avocado dyed paper on that. Lots of plant dyeing going on in these journals because I thought it kind of was fitting. Um, and then this is a journal card that's been made from a Grey's Anatomy image of the liver. I thought it was kind of fitting because that's what gets affected sort of most urgently by poisons. Um, and then this is a specimen card that I made with some resin flowers and it says been there for a long time. And I thought it was kind of a nice like an interesting verse to kind of go along with the idea of plants as poisons because they've always been there and it's our job to be careful with them right so this is more coffee dyed blueprint log book with some um, nice fabric that has been um, sealed down and this little silk flower with some yarn in the center is just on a bulb pin on the side there just a little point of interest and then some nice rose stickers on some coffee dyed paper and botanical page and some journaling space that's um, indigo dyed some stenciling of plants and then another of my digital pocket background um, and then this has a little card of the poison sumac inside and some collage with some ribbon down here coffee dyed paper and large format encyclopedia and it's got some like pin clover um, like it's got some plant related things here so and then some brown paper this is my own um, eco printing more eco dyed paper then this is um, a botanical page 
And here we have a belly band made from some nice green and gold scrapbook paper down on that same botanical page. And um, this is a card of Poison Ivy. Oops. There we go. And then this is um, more of the um, coffee dyed doily paper. And it has this little piece of batik fabric at the bottom, little bottom tab. And then another of my digitals um, of a pocket and background. And then this journal card inside has been made from the cover. Uh, so it's kind of shiny and fun. It's from the cover of a vintage botanical book. And then this is um, avocado dyed paper on back. So it's a nice large tag with fabric on top. And then some ivy stenciled there. And some of my coffee dyed paper. And then this is um, a double spread of a biology made simple book. So it's about the flowering plant. It talks about evergreens. It talks about Amanita, the death angel mushroom and how it's poisonous. Um, it talks about bread mold, Indian pipe, um, molds and mildews, all sorts of cool stuff. And it, it basically tucks up and then flips in because I wanted to include this whole page. I've reinforced it with washi tape. So it's a very good, strong vintage page. Um, and then it gives you like some cool vocabularies about like different plant um, conditions and how plants are used as medicine. More coffee dyed paper, um, some stenciling of a leaf. And on this side we have um, a fabric tuck on top of my own digital. And then this is um, a journal card of pampas grass. Uh, this is um, more coffee dyed doily paper and another belly band with that um, scrapbook paper. And this is of the sweet pea plant. And one thing that might be fun if you pick up this journal, um, when you're going through it, you can actually look up a, like the story about each plant. Uh, that's another reason that I added the labels because I thought it would be kind of a fun guide. Um, then we have some more more journaling space botanical paper eco printed paper with a strip of avocado dyed paper on top on this side you can really see um the leaves of this plant more journaling space just some nice um scrapbook kind of style papers this one's a handmade paper and this is another page of the flower press book this is about parsleys some of which are poison this is a little pocket um, from a Jimson weed image on my own digital. And then I made this tag out of my digital as well. And it's information about Goom, another plant. And then some more stenciling. This is watercolor paper that's been splashed with a bit of blue and um, coffee dyed paper. This is a book page um, and it's this really nice kind of picture of like a bunch of different plants. There's a dandelion up front, the moon is in the back, there's hills and valleys and this little mice here and this little mouse nest. It's very sweet. And I left the words on because it's just a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful little story. This lady whom all mortals call the moon danced a merry dance in the pathless sky for she had fallen in love and the object of her devotion was the sun. So I will let you uh, read the rest of that on your own if you pick up this journal. <laughs> um, this is indigo dyed paper. This is some nice botanical lined list paper. And it's on front and back, and this flips out. It's the center of the journal, and it's about the witch's garden. and has a beautiful picture. This is more indigo dyed paper, and another flip out with this lovely bunny from the same book and all these beautiful plants. And again, I have left the, um, the writing here. And it has this nice little poem here. I am the beginning of eternity, followed by half a circle, close on by half a square. Through my fourth, my fifth is seen to be the first in every pair. My sixth begins my seventh, the end of time and space. Now put my parts together to see what's taken place. So it's like a little riddle poem. And then we have a fabric tab at the top of a coffee dyed paper. And that is watercolor paper, more stenciling. And then we have a freeform pocket here from um, Lantana, a plant on my own uh, digital. And inside this is coffee dyed paper. It's been, or sorry, avocado. It's been stitched on as a tab on top of the water hyacinth image. And there's more avocado dyed paper on back. 
Then um, this is the Meadow Buttercup Ranunculus Acris from the Flower Press book. Just more journaling space, nice green papers. This is um, another blueprint page from um, a boat, Coffee Dyed. This is a page about green medicine. This is um, watercolor paper that has been botanically printed, eco printed. This is my own digital stencil on the back, coffee dyed paper. This is from the world of plants and it has this beautiful orchid. And on the inside, it's the, the page about danger, poison. So different poisons um, and it shows hemlock and different mushrooms. Um, and then over here it talks about how orchid, orchid can be used as a flavoring. Coffee dyed paper, um, stenciling my own digital again and more botanical eco printed paper um, and then some points are even poisonous to the touch Just some more of that same page are there any plant remedies left to be discovered so some cool stuff to read another blueprint page and then um, here we have a flip out of water hemlock and that has more avocado dyed paper on back this is a cabbage dyed large format encyclopedia page. This is um, an image of a, a bunch of different shapes of leaves and their, their names. This is um, a lovely page of eco printed paper. I love how the edge of it turned out it's amazing it's watercolor paper um, and then this is um, a belly band made from an image of delphinium with this nice blue floral lace at top and bottom and then inside there is um, a poem here by wh Auden um, for nicholas nabokov and it's called woods and it's an old piece of paper from an old book so i'm just gonna pop it right in here um, i won't read it to you because it's quite long <laughs> And more journaling space, coffee dyed doily paper. This is just clipped on. This is a double sided um, information page about uh, the trichomatales, mushrooms, um, different kinds of poisonous mushrooms. And this is just on a nice heavyweight paper. And then here we have, um, this is from a vintage book, where plants come came from in Southern Africa, Europe and the Mediterranean coasts. And it just lists the different kind of plants on the map. And then this is just some watercolor paint. More journaling space with coffee dyed doily paper. This pocket is made from an image of the Christmas rose. And inside a journal card about the betel nut. And that is on eco dyed paper. More of those outline images of leaf shapes. And on the back, we have this little sticker about oil tansy and this beautiful flower and um, arsenic poison label on some cabbage dyed paper. And then we have some green pearly paper here. This is from a book um, and it is the chapter, the first chapter um, sort of heading and it tips out like this. Part one, the elm in the landscape of the mind. And this book was called like an ode to the elm. And then this is um, a lovely verse about the, the tree of ill omen. And it's really cool. It's about the elm tree. Um, and then this is more coffee dyed doily paper, some green cardstock. This is a fabric tab at the top of some cabbage dyed log paper. Um, nice olive green cardstock. And then this is another little tip out with botanicals on it. This little sticker of honey and borax. And then inside you'll see um, information about stargrass and fly poison plants. Then this is the book plate from this book, The Poison Trail by William F. Booz, MD. Um, this book is from 1939 and it was about, uh, and this is the back, um, the second page after the book page. It's been stitched together. So it's more journaling space um, inside and here and here. Um, so this book was actually about this guy's, like this doctor and his journey with poisons and learning about them. Um, 
This is a 1970 Vaughn Township Public Library's Richfield Branch original um, library pocket with the library card inside with all these dates here that have been written and stamped um, going from 1970 to 72. And then this is the card. This is from a book, Straws in the Wind uh, by Harry J. Boyle from 1970. And then this is um, different... Um, plant terms, lance-shaped leaf, linear leaf, lobbed leaf, monocarpic, what they mean. And then on the back, um, we have a poison strychnine label and more of those, um, this is a tip out and more of those definitions. Then this is from, it's a nice shiny big giant page from the um, cover of a vintage botanical book. And on back, it's just blank, it's been inked so you can write to your heart's content on that big piece of paper. Then another olive green page, another logbook page, cabbage dyed with a fabric tab, more green cardstock. This is um, coffee dyed paper with the doily. And then we have a pocket down here. This is actually from a release, the crafting kit. It's got these beautiful flowers on some grungy kind of newsprint with a bee. And underneath there's a bit of collaging, a butterfly, top of a bird cage, and some green dyed paper. And then we have a journal card of the false morel with um, some nice batik fabric on top. And then this is just my little note from the bookmaker um, that I include in all my journals so that you know a little bit about how to use these journals and what they're about and um, on the back the end page is the bottle brush image so that is this whole journal um, so I hope you enjoyed this little flip through of this journal it will be going up on my Etsy I'm hoping by the end of this weekend I have a few new journals to post so that one will be going up and stay tuned for the next video because it will be the second um, poison garden journal and um, yeah I will be talking about it as well. So thank you so much for joining me. All of my information, uh, my social media, including my shop are down below in the description box and I hope you have a really wonderful day. Mm -hmm.